It all comes down to this. Six seasons, two straight Rose Bowl victories, and now we have finally made it to the big game. What's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome to the national championship here in Phoenix, Arizona, the Fiesta Bowl, and this is going to be a good one. Number one, San Jose versus number two, Notre Dame, man. Let's just check out the All-Americans going into this game. Jordan Mann is actually an All-American. I'm actually surprised by this. Those numbers do not look like All-American numbers, but nonetheless, he's an All-American as a freshman. Michael Bailey, he's an All-American first team. And that's amazing. These, these don't look like these don't look like uh, all American numbers at all. And Heoli Managa, these are all American numbers: 58 tackles, 14 for loss, two sacks, three interceptions, seven deflections, uh, defensive touchdown, forced fumbles. I mean, every single category. I'm actually surprised to see James Jackson Jr., who actually did win the Nagurski Award. He got seven sacks, but that seemed like a normal year for somebody like Andre Armstead or Terrence Miller of years past. So I'm surprised to see him make it, but Zamir Hines, I'm not surprised. He had 50 tackles as a safety, and our kicker ends up making it, and then Champagne Green makes it as a returner. So we, they do have a couple of All-Americans as well. Ryan Holloway, their safety here, senior safety. He ends up being an All-American, six interceptions. He was a monster on the back end. And then Chase Beck. Man, he is good. Eight sacks. He's, he's 90s overall. If you want to check out his overall, go into the last video. Check out that ACC championship, Notre Dame versus NC State. That was a good one. But now we focus our focuses on Kyle Floyd, the senior. He is really good. He's a pure pocket passer. And then Chris Lewis, who is impossible to take down 7.4 yards per carry. Last game, he had 7.7 .7 going into last. So here we go. Starting out this game on offense. Here is Floyd from the shotgun. He's got to buy some time and throw across the middle. He's Bruh. got Grigsby who gets free, and he's going to score on the first play. What is Marcus Daniels doing on that? Let's just take another look. How does he let Grigsby get that wide open? He just lets him run right past him. That's Bruh. amazing. And on the first play of the national championship, it's a 75-yard touchdown. So now here we are on offense. It's like Notre Dame didn't even start with the ball. They give it right to us. Here is Jay Taylor with the catch across the middle. He's going to cough it up. But they are going to review this as it looks like Jay Taylor is down. So it's going to be a nice little gain on that one as we do retain possession. Here is Ray Reed. Screen pass out to the right side. Sammy Baldwin taking a big hit. But he's getting a gain of five. So now a third and six. Four wide receivers out there. Quick throw across the middle. Jay Taylor, he gets punished on that one. And that's going to be an incompletion as Notre Dame gets the ball back after a punt. So here's a throw across the middle to start out the next drive. Grigsby, nine yards. He holds on to that one. I don't know how he did. So third and one, under center this time. A back behind him. He throws out to the left side. That's Hall. He gets stopped before the first down. And we at least force the punt. So now we come back out on our second drive. Ray Reed throwing out to the right side. Jay Taylor's open again. 20 yards for the senior, playing in his final game at SJSU. So from the pistol formation, Ray Reed gets a carry to Denzel Knox. And wow, Knox coughs it up. And we retain possession. Isaac Twainis is there. So now third and seven. Here's a throw to the sideline. Tyree Jordan tiptoes. And that's a gain of 10 and a first down. So Ray Reed now making some good throws early on. Here's another throw to the left side. There's Jay Taylor again. Another catch. And that's a gain of eight. So now handoff up the middle on a third and two. Denzel cuts back. He finds an open lane. Six yards and a first down. So first and 10. Two backs in the backfield. Ray Reed's going to go down. Wow, that defensive tackle went right past our offensive line. Isaac Duane, is, he had two guys to block on that one, just lets them both go free. And now it's a third and 18. Throw out to the right side. It's picked off by Smith. 
And wow, Raheem Akusi did beat Smith off of the line. Take another look. He beat him off the line. We thought we had an open man. We threw it just a tad too late. We should have threw it before he cut. And that's the interception. So now Notre Dame takes back over here. Three, four wide receivers to start out this next drive. Here is Hall, their tight end, who's lined up at receiver in the slot. He picks up 21 yards and a big first down. So now first and 10, here's a handoff. This time it's Lewis who's gonna avoid a tackler on that one, break a tackle and get about a 13 yard gain on that. And that is his first carry for a first down. So they go right back to him. Here's another carry. He throws a stiff arm that time to Managa, the All-American and Chris Lewis, 16 yards for a first down. So they go right back to him. This time Jordan Mann's gonna clog up the middle. Maybe he's showing the nation why he's an All-American on that one. And he brings it to a third and nine. Here's a screen pass out to the right side. Throw out to Lewis. He's gonna break a tackle, but gonna get brought down by Managa. So he gets his revenge on that one. But Notre Dame settles for the field goal. So 10 nothing here to start this game in the second quarter now. Here is Reed, rolling out to the right. He throws across the middle. Raheem Akusi gets open, 28 yards. And we're close to the 50 on that one. That's a nice catch and a nice first down. So here is Denzel Knox on the carry. But well, there's a flag on the play. It's gonna be holding on our offensive line. So this one gets brought back. So now facing a third and 19, here's Ray Reed, throw across the middle. He's got Jay Taylor again. We haven't seen this much action to Jay Taylor in a while. He's got five receptions for 81 yards and we're not even halfway through the second quarter. So here's Daniel Dunn getting going up the middle. He gets in for a carry. That's a gain of about six. So second and four, screen pass out to the left. That's not gonna work. This Notre Dame defense sniffed that one out. I don't know how because we barely run that play. So now third and nine, here is Ray Reed. Rolling out to the right, the pressure is right there. We had no time to throw that one. And we do end up kicking the long field goal and making it a seven point game. So now here is Notre Dame back on the next drive. Counter play out to the right side. Lewis, that's a nice tackle by Jojo Forrest, stopping him for a gain of just five. So now third and five, throw out to the right side. Hall, oh, their tight end is gonna drop that one and we catch a break and force the punt. So now we're back out onto the field with the chance to tie this game up here as we try to put together a nice little drive after turning the ball over once already in this game. Here a five wide receiver set, throw across the middle, Jay Taylor, he's got a lot of room to the right side and Notre Dame's defenders tripped over each other and it allows Jay Taylor to go over 100 yards already. So Denzel Knox on the carry up the middle. He takes a big hit. That's a gain of just four. We have to hold on to the ball. Remember, he coughed it up earlier. Here's a throw across the middle. That's Sammy Baldwin who breaks the tackle, and it's a touchdown. Take another look at this route. That was a great route, but the throw was even better. Look at Sammy Baldwin do the rest, but take a look at how close that was to being deflected. What a throw by the senior Ray Reed and it ties it up at 10. So here there's four minutes left here in the first half. Here is Grigsby getting going with the seven yard catch on the sideline. Lewis on the next carry, second and three. Avoids a tackler, avoids another one. He's off to the races and Jojo Forrest dies but he can't get to him. That's a big time touchdown from Lewis and now they take the lead 17 to 10. So now we put, gotta put together a four minute drive here towards the end of the first half. Here is Denzel Knox, he gets to the outside. That's a gain of 16. So now second and eight, Ray Reed, throw across the middle. That's Champagne who hasn't had his name called yet. That's a gain of seven on that catch. So third and two, here's a carry from the pistol. Look at Denzel Knox punishing the All-American on that one. Take another look. He just punishes him. All-American on All-American and Denzel Knox wins that battle. So first and 10, here's a throw across the middle. That's Jordan Armstead, that's an eight yard gain on that one. And that brings it to about the 32 yard line. Second and two, throw across the middle. Sammy, he's getting open, 17, or a gain of 12 actually. And that makes it a first down. 
First and 10, the pressure's right there, but we get rid of it. Denzel Knox for a gain of six. And our pass blocking is not doing good here in the first half. Here on third and three, the pressure's right there. We try to scramble for it. Ray Reed falls forward. And now it's a fourth and two. We line up to go for it. If we like our look, we're gonna run it. And we like it, we're running it. Here's Denzel Knox, carry. He gets up field and that's a first down. And that's a gain of seven. So now we're inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, 17 seconds left. Ray Reed throws out to the right. Jay Taylor, touchdown. And he has a big first half and he caps it off here with the touchdown. And that ties this game up at 17 apiece. What a national championship so far. So in the first half, it was an up and down first half for us. We did turn the ball over, but Ray Reed was throwing the ball with accuracy. But our offensive line is just giving up way too much so far. We need to buckle down, but our defense is doing okay, giving up too many big plays, but I think they're playing well overall. So here comes Ray Reed back out onto the field. Can we start this first drive out with a touchdown? Ray Reed trying to throw the ball across the middle, and it's a sack. And this defensive line is just swarming around Ray Reed, not giving him any time to throw the ball. So third and 18, here's the more pressure. It gets right there, but he gets rid of it. It's Sammy downfield. How did he get rid of this? Look at this. The defensive end gets right through, and somehow he allows Ray Reed to get that pass off. I don't know how we completed that. So now this drive continues. Here's Denzel, gain of five up the middle. So make it in a second and five. Here is Ray Reed throwing to the right side. That's Denzel. Ooh, he puts a great move on the defender that time. And that's a first down. So second and 10, Ray Reed throw across the middle. That's Champagne. He's got about eight yards on that one as we've been throwing the ball really, really well so far. So now a third and two in the bunch formation. Ray Reed throws to the right side and that's incomplete. But we may have had a touchdown. Jordan Armstead was wide open in the end zone. So we do end up kicking the field goal here, making it a 20 to 17 game here, but I'll take it three points to start the second half. So here is Floyd back out onto the field, finding Grigsby on the left side. That's a nice throw and a gain of three. So now in a second and seven, that's almost, almost picked off. It was close. The receiver did drop it, but he, I think he heard footsteps. So here's Lewis on the draw play, third and seven, the defense is there, and we forced the punt here. So now we're in the driver's seat. We got possession, up three points. Can we put some more points on the board? Here's Ray Reed, throw across the middle. Tyree Jordan can't hold on to it, and it's knocked away, bringing it to a third and 10. Notre Dame, they're sending the house. We get rid of it just in time. That's Jay Taylor. He makes a move and gets to the first down. I was just getting rid of the ball just to get rid of it so we don't take the sack. Instead, Jay Taylor works his magic. So here is Denzel Knox. Carry up the middle, four yards. So that brings it to a third and six. Here at the 40-yard line, our own 40. Ray Reed, throw across the middle. And we had a little window to throw it to, and we could not complete the pass, and we had to pump the ball away to Notre Dame. So here is Lewis on the next drive he gets a carry up the middle that's a gain of eight so second and two another carry to Lewis here he gets to the right side gets tackled from behind by Michael Bailey but another first down here for the Irish so second and five here's another carry to the right side he throws off a man and that's Michael Cummings who misses the tackle he doesn't miss many of those but Chris Lewis gets the first down he's been doing whatever he wants so here he is getting another carry, this time to the left side. Look at that block on the outside by the receiver on Josh Hemphill, just putting him on his back. And that's a gain of 10. Another carry. Look at that nice block by their guard and Chris Lewis. Another carry, 10 yards, first down. So now, down to a minute left here in the third quarter. Here's a throw out to left side. That's Eduardo Schaefer, our former recruit, for his first catch of the game. So third and three, here's Floyd, having all day to throw the ball. He gets it over to Grigsby, who fights his way for the first down. That is a backbreaker. We had everybody covered, and they somehow get the first. So first and goal. Here's a throw across the middle, Eduardo Schaefer. He's in. That's a three-yard touchdown catch. And Notre Dame 
takes the 24 to 20 lead. So now we move this one into the fourth quarter. Can we come back? Here is Ray Reed facing some pressure and this pressure has been there all game long. Our offensive line is just having all sorts of trouble with this defensive front. So here is Denzel Knox, gets the carry, but he just hasn't been able to get anything going as well. And that brings it to a third and six, five wide receivers. Throw across the middle. Jordan Armstead, he gets there, six yards, and that's a first down. So now second and 12 here at about the 30-yard line. Here's a throw across the middle. Look at Sammy Baldwin. That was an amazing route. Faking the fade on that one, then cutting up field. Just take a look. Boom. Man, that was a nice route on that one. So now a second and 10 carry. Here is Denzel Knox, close to the 50-yard line. He's getting nine yards, and that might be the biggest run of the game besides that 16-yard one to start the second half. So here is Jay Taylor. He coughs it up, and Sammy Baldwin falls on it. Wow, we get lucky and fall on that one. That's, what is that, three fumbles in this game? And we've recovered all three. So now here is Ray Reed on a second and five. This time they get to him and it's gonna be a sack fumble and Ray Reed coughs it up. But this time Notre Dame falls on it. That was a perfect timing sack as we were just moving the ball inside of their territory, getting into field goal range. So now on the next drive, here is Lewis with the carry up the middle and Chris Lewis, he just avoids every tackler. He breaks one in the backfield and gets a gain of 22, closing in on 200 yards rushing. Here is Floyd on the next pass. Throws over the middle, it's Bruh. Amir Hines. He has it in his hands. And we may have got antsy on that one and switched to him, which we never do. And he drops the interception. So on a third and 10, here's a throw to the right side. And what do you know, Grigsby, he's open, first down. So now three minutes left here in the game. We're not gonna use any timeouts, but they're gonna kind of waste this time down. They throw to the sideline. That's Eduardo Schaefer on the sideline. He keeps a foot in bounds, and that's a gain of 19. So now two minutes left here in the game. Here's our speed option to the left. Jordan Lewis gets the pitch, and he's in. I mean, Chris Lewis, what am I saying, Jordan Lewis? Chris Lewis is in, and he gets it to an 11-point lead here with two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Here is Ray Reed trying to get it going, but this pass rush is continuing to put some pressure on Ray Reed. So we hurry up to the line, not using any timeouts. Here's a throw across the middle. Champagne Green catches it. We may have got lucky as the defender had his back turned, and it's a first down. So now we hurry it up to the line, not using any timeouts. Another throw. We got a linebacker on a receiver. That's Champagne for 17. So now a second and 10. Here, minute 20 left. Here's a dump off. This time, Sammy Baldwin makes a move. He gets to the first down, and that's better than getting out of, out of bounds on that one as he moves the chains. So now, minute 12 left. Ray Reed dumps it off once again. Champagne Green falls forward, but he falls into Sammy Baldwin who stops him. So now this clock is gonna continue to run. Under a minute now, Ray Reed throw to the left side. He's got Sammy, and that's a first down, and that does stop the clock as we move the ball forward. So now second and 10, throw out to the right side. It's deflected, and that's the All-American. He gets the deflection. So now they bring it to a third and 10. 46 seconds left. Here is Ray Reed. The pressure's right there. He gets rid of it, and that's Raheem Akusi. But this time is gonna run. So now they bring it to a fourth and five. Under 30 seconds left. Here is a play. Five wide receiver set. Throw across the middle. Jordan Armstead gets there, and that's barely a first down. And we hurried up to the line here with 24 seconds left. We have the draw play called here. Here's Ray Reed trying to run up the middle. He gets clocked. He loses one. And we have to burn a timeout because that clock would have ran off too much. And now it's a second and goal. Ray Reed rolling out to the right. He's going to throw it. And he's going to get rid of it. And it's a touchdown. But we still got business to do here. Still down five. We're going to try to go for it. Make it a three-point game. So now here's Ray Reed on the two-point conversion. He's going to roll out to the right. Pressure's right there. He tries to get rid of it, and it's deflected. So we have to kick the onside kick here. And now, here's the game. If we get it, we might have a chance. If we don't, it's over. Here's the onside kick. And Notre Dame recovers the onside kick. And that one is going to do it.
the perfect season is no longer intact as Notre Dame wins the national championship. This is heartbreaking. I can't lie. We've came, we've come so far. I mean, think about it. I mean, two straight Rose Bowls, and then we finally get to the big game, and we lose like this. We had three fumbles in this game. I believe one of the fumbles I actually didn't even show, but there was another fumble by Denzel Knox that we actually recovered, and man, wow, why did Ray Reed have to fumble that ball as we were driving? That seemed to change the momentum in this game and we just could not recover I mean Notre Dame was rolling their their run game was just out of this world their pass rush was just out of this world and they were the better team this game I gotta say they were just the better team as we were just outmatched we had a couple magical plays like this one in the first half Sammy Baldwin with the big catch and run on that one but Notre Dame with Chris Lewis it was just too much and even on this play we tried to make the tackle on that one, and we just whipped. I mean, our guy, I don't know what he was doing, but he just stopped kind of and allowed Chris Lewis to cut up field, and we ended up losing. So let's just talk about what we're going to do here. So we do lose this game. Denzel Knox is going to be gone. Jay Taylor is going to be gone. We're, we're losing a lot of guys. I can't lie. We're losing a lot of guys that we're gonna have to replace. And I don't know how we're gonna replace these guys. Michael Bailey's gonna be gone. Hopefully our recruiting class will be better. And we'll have to see because we got a lot of building to do. Now going into the off season, I'm hoping that you know we recruit some defensive linemen that can rush the passer. I, I think that was just the Achilles heel of this team. This series is actually going to change format, which I'll talk about in the off season. But let's just look at just the journey that we've had up to this point. So 8-5 and five the first season, 12-2 and two the second. 10-3, and 13-1, and 13-1, and 13-1. And and I mean, this is just heartbreaking. I mean, just seeing how this series ended, how this season ended, not the series. It's just, it's just, it's just real heartbreaking. I mean, look at our bowl record. That was our first bowl loss here in this dynasty. 9-1 versus rivals. That's just amazing. And we've had quite the run here, but we fall just short here in season six. And hopefully in years to come, we can get there once again. So we're going into the offseason and we'll see what we can do. But we definitely have to build upon what we've built so far. 13 and 1, three straight years. This is tough. So let's just address some stuff in the offseason. We'll talk about more of the formatting in the next episode. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.